of no fuses. Uh, last time we took care of all the missions, we saw Ring go ham against the Radiant Blade Master, which was a very epic battle. And we found out that Emma has a talking cat in which those two are like some kind of magical guardians here to guide Ring to do something. What it is, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out later. But without further ado, let's dive on in. And if you guys like this game or this series and want to see more videos of it, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Wait, is this mission? Gotta say, it's great having you guys around. It's not often I get to kick back on the guild and take care of the paperwork. And hey, it even gives me time to take care of some other stuff too. Other stuff? Haha, uh -huh, nothing too big. The guild branch over in Crossbow just dropped in a little inquiry into the trade conference, actually. We're an international organization that makes it easy to get the latest info, but it's also increased our workload. So that's how it works, huh? No wonder he's always seems to be on top of things. So where are we supposed to go? Okay, so there's another monster, and apparently I need to go to the Chepel. Ah, it's you. Oh, hello everyone. Good day, Sister Therm Thermos. Have you grown close to the Grand Wiles away? I have. Everyone's been so kind. The only thing I just can't get used to is Father Hemokar's lackadaisical approach to his work. Haha, <laughs> that's understandable. He has his good points, though. Really? I've yet to see him act like a responsible adult even once. We probably shouldn't be gossiping about this, though. I assume you all came along because of my request, right? That's right. We'd like you to tell us more Tell us more about it. The request mentioned that you plan on making an offering? That's correct. I need a number of items in order to make it. I'd like you to collect them for me if you're able. Do you have the time to take this on for me? I mean, I understand if you don't. Accept. Of course we accept. Sure, we'll fit you in. Thank you very much. Allow me to tell you about what I need to do. As Lady Laura knows, it's a custom year in the ground to hold a memorial service for St. Sandalot and the Estrum each year. The period in which the service is held is coming up rather soon. That sounds like a kind of a downer. Well, it's not supposed to be a lively event. The memorial service is held to mourn the brave warriors who gave their lives in the War of the Lions. Will the church be leading the service? The people here seem to have a strong belief in animism, so I wouldn't have expected that to be the case. Not quite. The church is just assisting with it. Animism has much deeper roots than the church here, so it's only natural that we respect that. The Grimm seems to be similar to Nord in that regard. Yeah, animism just as widely believed over there as it is here. And yet, despite that, both communities believe in the church's teachings as well. Well, the church has never once denied the existence of spirits, after all. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons his teachings have spread across the continent like they have. I guess Arius has a big enough heart for everyone, huh? Hehe, <laughs> quite right. Getting back on topic, though, I've actually been asked to prepare an offering for the memorial service myself. Oh? Will this be your first time doing so? It will. Because of that, I'll we'll have to practice a little before the service itself. That's why I like to ask you all the collecting ingredients I need for it. Ah, so that's how it is. What exactly will you be making? I'm going to be making pretzels. Huh? There are those bready things that look like they're all twisted and not, right? That's right. However, the pretzels used for the morning service are made to look like the spirit monument here in town. I assume you're talking about the unique looking monument in the center of town. The very same. The pretzels here are generally baked in the rather, to be rather hard, so they'll last longer. And even said that the Esh Rider carried them onto the battlefield in their combat rations. Ask what that explains why you're giving pretzels as an offering, then. That's quite a fascinating historical tidbit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a chance to see Erebonius' most time honored pretzels. What grims do you need us to get? Ah, oh, yes, I almost forgot. I need to collect five hardy powders, five clear gelatins, and a type of seasoning called white seed. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to beat up some monsters for that stuff, but what exactly is white seed? They seem to be one of the Grimm's, uh, they seem to be one of the Grimm's local crafts, according to Father Helmklar. Unfortunately, they're not really in season right now, so none of the stores here have any. Well, I think that part should be simple enough, fortunately. Our household's head chef should have some on hand. Oh, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Right then, let's get up start gathering. Where should we make our way to first? Lord's home or the highway? I'm fine with either. We'll have to go to both eventually. I mean, true, very true. Ooh. 
we'll go straight to the house. It's literally right there. Hello, Lady Laura. Is there something you need from me? There's a request I'd like to make of you. Would you happen to have any white seed on hand? Of course. Why, it'd be crazy me not to hand so someone hand. I've got it stored away, but I always make sure we never run out. How much do you need? I can give you the entire credit if you want. Well, I don't think we need that much. Well, then I suppose small bag full should do the trick. My thanks. Anything for you, Lady Laura. All the people here really love her, don't they? Uh-huh, I'll say. Now, off to the highway. Hello everyone, have you managed to get the ingredients I need? Well sure we have, here you go! Bring handed over hearty powder. And moreover, and here's the white seed you wanted. We're hand over the bag of white seed. Thank you so much, there should be plenty. Could you wait the enjoying room while I mix up the trial batch then? Sister Thermos made her pretzels and handed a sample to everyone. How do they taste? I'm not surprised to be honest. In a good way, I mean. Indeed, they're actually better than I was expecting. Tasty and filling and free! Thank you. Thinking that the Aaronside may have eaten something like this to keep the fighting is quite kind of moving, really. It really is. Then thank goodness. Um, what do you think of them, Lady Laura? Oh, my apologies. I was so engrossed in the taste I forgot to speak up. They're delicious. If I hadn't seen you make them, I'd swear they came from kitchen professional chef like Joseph. Thank you for giving me the chance to try them. Phew! Hey, Laura. Hmm? There's still some time for the memorial service, but how about we offer some of these at the Sandlot statue now? Hmm, I'd like that. After all, there's no limit on when we can leave an offering. Would you mind if we took some along then, sister? <laughs> not at all. It would be rude of us to indulge in all of these on our own after all. Please go and take some. Hee, <laughs> let's be on our way. Now I've got pretzel power. Yay! Alright, that was easy enough. Now, I'm guessing the statue is the big statue, so it's either that or the statue of the lady. Nope. Alright. Oh, it's this one. My bad. My bad. There you go. Uh, there we go. I'm sure this put a smile on her face. Now all that's left is for us to pray. Are there any special requirements for prayers of this sort? Not particularly, but it is custom to remain quiet while prayers are being offered. Whoop whoop! Let's get her praying on then. Everyone. Haha, <sighs> <sighs> I was working so hard on being quiet and holding my breath. Huh? Are you guys still going? It was a valiant battle to remain silent for even a single minute, but alas, victory remained a loose. <laughs> I swear, he's channeling the energy of a very tired dad right now. This man is literally like, please, just shut up. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on her. Well then, shall we make our way to the chapel? Yeah, we should report back to Sister Thurman's, uh, just in time. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. I feel better about having you run all the all around town just for my sake. The worst, we're always glad to lend a hand. Yeah, never done a job where presses were a fringe benefit, but it was worth it. They they really were delicious. But if the batch you make for the memorial service turns out that good, you have nothing to worry about. And I'll do everything I can to make sure that's the case. Oh, I've yet to offer all your reward for helping me. It's not much, but please take these. Yes, we wait. We need lots of those. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be sure to put them to good use. That's one down at least. Yeah, let's move right over to the other one. All right, the other one is literally the monster battle.
Oh, what's happening? Oh, all the fog in the house disappeared. Oh yeah, because today it's a clear sunny day. All right, gotcha, gotcha. We can see a lot better now. Yeah, it's so much easier to see all the surrounding areas now. Totally, I could hardly see my head in front of my face yesterday. Well, at least we don't have to worry about getting lost today. We may, we may find altered routes though, the area that we missed yesterday too. It's very likely we should keep an eye on those while we're looking for the beast we need to slay. Okay, so it was the log. I was like, there's gotta be a way up there. It looks like there's a path over this way too. I didn't notice it when we were passing yesterday. The mist has cleared today, which makes seeing paths through the area much easier. I think this path leads to the top of the hill. Perhaps, but we'll need to do something about this log before we can go there. Then we could snap a log like that, like a toothpick. I guess we'll leave this one to you, the million. Hope you don't mind. No problem though. Characters with strike type field attacks of B rank or higher can destroy fallen logs and certain other objects. It's my turn. Of course. Very well. Go. Ew. I think I need to switch like characters because she's not in my like direct team right now. Cooking with grease. Oh, it's so cool here, you'd hardly believe it's summer. The weather's pleasant today. A fine wind blowing too. I've got this. Oh my god, it's a giant robot straight from Straight from freaking Sonic. It looks like freaking Dr. Eggman owns that freaking machine, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so out of place. Just head on on in and see what happens. Hopefully we beat you in one round. I is that? It must be Monster Tavo sent us here to take care of. I've never seen anything like that. Is he even alive? Kind of looks like some sort of machine. Anyway, you look at it, there's clearly something strange about that thing. I suppose that's why we've been sent to exterminate. At this point, we can't just go back without finishing the job. Yeah, I say let's see what this monster is made of. On your guard, everyone. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. Go. Alright, you're equal against everything, so it's not gonna matter. Um... It's my turn! Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Our 
There we go. Thank you. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. And I've got a way to go to get to your level. And no one died. This was a pretty easy battle. Either that or I'm crazy strong now. I was really expecting that to be harder. And it was like the first time I, this wasn't like a million tries. This was literally like the first one, one time go. Like... Good job, you guys. Kill the answer to our CP. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Keep up. Kill the answer to our CP. Oh, now 20 for every enemy kill. Yes. Thank you. Definitely need that in my life. I did it. Yep, and that's it. We can all level up. Just getting started. Mm hmm. Is it dead? It seems more appropriate to say we destroyed it. Yeah, I didn't get the feeling we were fighting a living creature. A mechanical monster. What's something like this doing in the highway near Legram? My my our intelligence division can't cadet be able to shed some light on this? You are or one of the one with the mysterious mechanical companion after all. That's a good point actually. I don't think this thing's any relation of Lanny's. For one thing, it looks like it's made of metal. That's true. Armageddon and the combat shells we use in our practical exam seem to be made of some other substance. And while they may be inorganic, the combat shells do have a certain kind of warmth to them. I don't see how that matters. They all seem suspicious. Loon's probably right. This thing doesn't seem enough like Armageddon to link the two. Let's head back to Legram. I have a feeling Tavo wants to hear about this as soon as possible. True. He may even know something about it himself. That's Legram it is. Yeah, something ain't right. <laughs> We got like machines just all over the freaking highway for no reason. <laughs> like, did it like stray away? And nah, it's a machine. There's no way it just kind of strayed. Someone probably like programmed it to like stay there. Oh, no, what's happening? Something seems amiss here. The town isn't usually this noisy. Huh? Looks like the liner's back at the harbor. But who are those weird people around it? Oh, no. 
We got soldiers all over the place for no reason. Why? They look like soldiers from the provincial armies. It seems this way, white and purple, I seem to remember seeing those colors back in Heimdall. I believe the combination of colors represents the Lamar provincial army. But Lamar is on the other side of the empire. What business could their provincial army have in the gram? Hey, looks like you're back. Oh, I gave, I gave him a girl voice. My bad. My bad, bro. Tavo? Um, do you have any idea what's going on here? We're on the street is they repositioned the liner from the wharf on the far shore. So why we're seeing the more fringe army in that southern lands is still kind of a mystery. Apparently there was some big shot noble was visiting the Viscount as we speak. Another noble visiting father? Who could possibly? It's a bit concerning. Uh oh, she this is the first time Moons looks serious. She's probably uh oh, I think I might have an idea. Well, if you're curious, why don't we take a look for yourself? Since you returned from the highway, that means you took care of the monster, right? Well, that is true. Actually, there is something we wanted to ask you about regarding that. The group gave a brief description of the monster they fought at Tobble. A mechanical monster, you say? Tobble? You have some idea as to what it might be? Well, I'm not sure. But I think I'll go have a look at what's left of it just in case. And anyway, we could work out there, guys. Here's your reward. I'll leave checking up what's going on with the Viscount Mansion to you. Huh? He definitely seems like he knows something we don't. Hmm. Well, for now, there's no harm in leaving the matter to him. Right, we should see what's going on at Laura's house. Agreed. Yeah. Everyone's like, what the hell is going on? Running around another lord's territory. How pompous can you get? It sounds like there's a real VIP here. Well, let's return to the manor for now. Uh, who is it? Is it someone we know? Oh. Hey, isn't that... Have we seen that man before? I'm trying to remember. There's no need to be so hasty. At least give my proposal some thoughts. Your attendance would add an extra degree of prestige to our gathering. I am merely the lord of the minor royal region. Truly you overstate the importance of my presence. A man worth is decided not by himself, by those he rubs elbows with. And well, I'm sure you understand. I appreciate if you didn't do anything to cause any unnecessary conflict. I'm not... I'm not sure giving combat training to an imperial army is something you ought to be doing either. After all, neither of us want any trouble now, do we? I. Haha, with that, I bid you fond farewell. Oh, and my compliments to the excellent tea. I am honored, Your Grace. See ya. Excuse us. appreciate all you continue to do for my father. They must know him. Yeah, look at how tense they are. I wasn't expecting him to show up here of all people. That's Duke Kane, head of the foremost of the four great houses in Lulu, the port city of Ordas. His authority extends over the entire province of Lamar to the west. I'm going to assume this is not a good fella. Just from the way he's strutting around like a fucking peacock. I'd love to stay in Takua, but I am afraid our urgent matters call me away. I'll endure to ar arrange another opportunity for us to meet in the near future. But for now, I bid you farewell. Oh, what have we here? So you're at Thor's military camp's class 7, huh? How do you... Oh, just having to do a little leisure time reading your class. I had a looking bunch. Good, good. Um... Enough of the chit chat. His grace awaits. Excuse us. See ya, kids. Who were those men? They don't look like soldiers from the Prime Army, that's for sure. And they did seem to know about our class. I presume their personal barkers hired by Duke Cannon. Father? 
Aha, you need to look so concerned. However, it seems like they've finally begun to act. The noble faction has begun acting in secret? Indeed, for the past month, they have been quite active behind closed doors. No doubt they're trying to reaffirm their unity, holding conference after conference all across the country. Of course, I'm sure this isn't news to your youngest classmates. Well, yeah. The entire division is all on edge, wondering whether they're about to start a full-scale conflict with the performance. S seriously? So that's what they've been up to, screwing around all this time. But since Duke County is basically the leader of the noble faction, I'm sure I wasn't expecting him to come all the way out here in person. Nor was I. They appeared to be playing a large conference in their future to be attended by all members of the noble faction. The Duke came all the way out here to insist that I attend. But father, not even a member, quite right, my lady. Your father has long kept his distance from the faction, and in some in the same way, he has also kept space between himself and reformers, preferring to remain neutral. However, they're convinced that all nobles should belong to the noble faction as a matter of, of course. I've heard they've been quite forceful at bringing those nobles who don't support the faction into their ranks. Would I be correct in assuming that my family is involved in all this? I'm afraid so. They've been some disagreement over whether Duke Cannon or Duke Alabaro should lead the four great houses, but I expect that that either would bring the same platform to the table. Eustace, if you don't mind me asking, do you happen to know where my family stands on the issue? Haha, you need not worry about your family's allegiances. Lord Schwarzer is widely known as, as an even more upset man than I. I can't imagine that he'd have any interest in supporting the questionable actions of other nobles. I see. I'm actually a little relieved to hear you say so. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Perhaps there's a move we can make after all. I'm afraid I'll be having. I'll be leaving the gram again on another more of my little trips. I apologize for the suddenness, but please tend to things in my absence. As you wish, my lord. For father. Wow. Well, that was sudden. I believe in acting swiftly and decisively. I intend to establish contact with all the nobles who have remained neutral in the ongoing factual conflict, so as to prevent them from being taken in by the noble faction's course of methods. Ah. Father. A prudent course of action, I think. In that case, I'll be happy to come with you. Is it Letcher? Oh no, it's Tavo. I don't know why I was expecting Letcher to like magically appear. Tavo, what are you doing here? Ah, so you're here as well. Heh. <laughs> Wouldn't miss a chance to catch a glimpse of the majestic Duke Cannon. Did you know he left in a limousine that came all the way from Barnhard? Hard? Wait then. It couldn't have. Did it belong to the Alberbert family? Well, Rufus Alberbert got into it, so yeah, I say that's likely. Couldn't ask for a classier escort. Damn. He's just like. He's like, I am so ashamed right now to be part of this family. I'm so sorry. So Rufus was here. Well, he is the heir of the Arbor family. Considering our visitors was none other than Duke Ken, it's not at all surprising Rufus would pick him up. But I know you didn't come here, come here to volunteer your company on my trip. Well, it just so happens that these guys here brought me a pretty curious story. We've got confirmation that a mechanical monster appeared on the highway outside La Graham. Is that so? I believe this is the first time one's appeared since the counter-offensive Sir Cassius launched two years ago. That's right. Come to think of it, that was the first time we met, wasn't it? It was indeed. What a strange coincidence. Have any others been found in the area? Nothing so far. This is just a hunch, but I suspect it may have been released as a diversion. I concur. Hmm, perhaps having you come with me is the best course of action after all. Alright, that's what I wanted to hear. Father. It sounds like there's a lot more going on here than just fashion butting heads. Sorry, I can't say anything for certain just yet. But if we turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah and she'll pass it on.
All right, here's what I've got for you this afternoon. More missions? Did we get this many missions during our field studies? A golden catch. Calling all fishermen, could someone catch me an elusive golden salmon? Find me at the Acrozone Inn for more details. Mission. What? This is a fishing mission. Well, you finished up for the day. I appreciate if you could head to the guild and follow your reports. I left you a note on the counter telling you how to do it. Nothing too difficult. Got it. Leave it to us. Just make sure you lock up before you leave for the night. Someone else should be coming to take care of things tomorrow. Understood. We'll do our best to take care of the guild in your absence. Haha. Uh -huh. Wish you all well in your studies. I hope you forgive me for leaving so suddenly. Not to worry, Father. I'm used to it. Thank you again for your hospitality and for agreeing to a duel. Look forward to our next meeting. As do I. You show great promise as a swordsman. I hope you'll continue to devote yourself to your studies and training alongside my daughter. I am honored, sir. In fact, I hope that all of you will look past her unkind father and continue giving her your friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I have yet to hear details of budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. Father! <laughs> She's like, stop! Hehe, <laughs> it would be our pleasure. She sure does seem help with the girls, though. I pray you have a safe journey. Thank you all you've done for us. Aha, uh -huh, catch you later then. Give, us, give my best to Sarah. Always be so. Uh huh. Honestly, you've got one amazing dad. Free spirit, open minded, and not to mention incredibly strong. Having met him, I can tell how he grew up like you did. Huh? Hee <laughs> hee, Green's right, you know. You're living proof that great parents lead to great children. I suppose having someone like him in your life as a role model would naturally lead you to aspire to greatness. Well, that or feeling woefully inadequate in comparison to developing inferiority complex. But all told, your living proves the daughter of Asher House has grown up sound in mind and body. Stop teasing me at once. <laughs> Moving on, Tavo has entrusted with looking after the guild. We may have only half a day remaining, but we still have our dues to fulfill. Haha, <laughs> look at her trying to change the subject. I am not. One additional quest was added. After you return to the guild to fire your reports, the time of day will advance, the evening, and the main story will proceed. Alright, let's get this golden catch. Oh, hello everyone. Have you come along to see a request I sent from Tavo? That's right. You're in search of some sort of elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me with a personal request, but are you up for it? If you are, I can share details with you all right now. You're in luck, our schedule just happens to be having an opening. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Just like the request mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a particular variety of salmon known as the Golden Salmon. Just. Like the name says, its body has a golden glow, not unlike the look of a Goldania itself. That must be an exquisite fish. Sounds rather garish, honestly, but I have to see it to judge for myself. Have you ever seen this fish before, Weaver? Unfortunately, all I know about what I've heard from rumors. Ben, who usually is fishing at the back of the inn, is actually the one who told me about it. It's golden color isn't it, isn't its own distinctive trait either, he said. He mentioned that its flavor is to die for, too. Ooh, now you've got my attention. Uh -huh, I'm afraid I'll be lying if I say I wasn't interested in the taste myself. That's certainly understandable. After hearing so much about it, I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging Tavo about it for quite a while now. Now it seems like thanks to you, I might finally get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess bracers even take on jobs like this. If this fish is elusive, though, what are the chances we could even catch him for the day's end? That does sound to be a most obvious issue here. Is it even possible to catch this fish in Lake Abel? doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Ben mentioned that he did catch several of them here at one point, but he hasn't found one at the, on the end of his line for several decades now. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, you know. How would we go about catching it then, and where? Well, I actually received some promising info from Tavo that put me back on the trail. He claims he's seen a golden sparkle in a river alongside the highway several times now. All the sparkle sightings have been in different locations, though. Hmm, well at least that narrows our search for the river. True, it will be much easier than trying to search the lake would be. We might be able to find it then. I know it won't be easy, but I'll be pleased as punch if you did catch one pleased as punch. 
But now that I think uh, think on it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure do. I brought my rod with me. Will this work? Hmm. Let's see what you got here. My word, this is the Lake Lord Company's highest grade fishing rod. The gold sum is supposedly quite a hefty fish, but catching should be no issue with this. You must have fish in your blood if you have a rod this nice. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Allow us to make our way then. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's get this fish. Uh, apparently, we need to go all the way back to that because I know what he's talking about. He's talking about way back into the freaking, um. Yeah, where the waterfall was. So we have to go all the way back there. And hopefully, not run into any powerful monsters. Oh wow, there's a river out here. Uh, I remember playing in this river when I was young. Okay, I was about to say, I was just like, are you just gonna let me slash at her? That shiny golden glow. I still have to can't wait to catch it. It seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone else to be here already. She seems to be an ordinary civilian, and no at that. That's a pretty, I'm surprised she's straight this far from town. Should we try talking to her? Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, can we talk to you for a moment? Who, who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student who saved me in my Aberdeen store months ago. Oh yeah, I think we did meet once before. Oh, so you know her? Yeah, we ran to her while we were at Celtic on our way for our very first field study. Now I remember, one of our tests involved delivering lost wallet to its owner. It just so happened the wall belongs to this lady in front of us. Hmm, I see. Hee <laughs> hee, very great for what you did for me. Sounds like that wallet has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oh? Might we ask what brings you out here? I would have thought that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some may think of fishing as a leisurely hobby, but I would beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. I, I see. I don't remember her being anything like this last time. So what inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on the dock of the Graham, right? She could have, yes. The Graham is conveniently situated right in the shores of Lake Embo, after all. Surely it wasn't necessary to brave the dangers of the highway to come out this far to fish. Hee <laughs> hee. That's where you're wrong, I'm afraid. A first class angling is a first class spot. Easier fishing on the shores of a peaceful lake just wouldn't satisfy me. What is with this woman? She's certainly a unique individual. Sounds like... Sounds like you're after something special if I had to guess. Indeed, I am. I'm come here seeking the elusive golden salmon. I've heard tales of it from a gentleman in the ground with name of them. He also informed me that it cannot be found on Lake Emble, which is what led me to the spot. And sure enough, not my only effort, I found a car ghost in the golden glimmer beneath the water surface here. A golden glimmer? That sounds a lot like Tobble said said he saw. Looks like this must be the spot then. Hee <laughs> hee, I should have known that you would have been searched for it too. Very well then, let's compete to see who can catch the gun salmon first. That's not really what I had in mind when we came out here. That aside, we seem to have found our location. True enough, let's get fishing. This looks like. Alright, let's see what I get. Fish. <gasps> With my deluxe rod. <gasps> yep, first time the charm. Come on, give me the fish. Give me the fish. Give me the fish. Come to mama. Come on. I am. Oh my god. You are hard to get. Oh my god, 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 my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am pressing as fast as I can here. Are you serious? God dang, I'm pressing as hard as I freaking can. That thing is hard to catch. Come on. Come on. Come here, God dang.
Yo! What am I supposed to do here? Like, the thing won't even appear. Oh my god. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Like, my fingers hurt, man. Okay, let's try this again. Uh. My freaking god, come on! Literally, come on! I was so close that time. So close. There aren't any fishes, but you can ma make them gather by using ends and use ground, but yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you! Finally! Jeez! After four attempts of groundbreaking finger smashing on this controller, I finally got the golden salmon. This hurt my fingers. My god. <sighs> you are a heavy fish. Impossible! You caught a gold sun before me? How's that even happening? Uh, now that you're making me feel bad about it. Still, thank you very much for helping us about the golden shimmer you saw. We may not have thought to fish here if not for your guidance. Fair play is district and in any competition. Think nothing of it. Besides, I simply paid the price for underestimating you. It was my fault that I lost. I thought my experiences over the past several months have strengthened me, but it seems I still have room, yeah, room to improve. And improve I shall, until one day I'm known across the land as the finest angle on Erebonia. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, then I bid you good day. Yeah, more power to you. Alright, finally. Jeez. Wait, is there anything over here? Oh, no, nothing but trouble. Hey, Bim, here's your sushi. Hey there, everyone. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the legendary golden salmon you have there? Defying all the odds, it actually is. Here we go, yes. Defying all the freaking odds. Read hand the ghost on to Weber. Oh my, it's... it's beautiful. I really can't thank you enough. It's even more splendid than Bim's tall tales. Yeah, you can reward me by giving me a slice. And give me its weight in gold, because I'm pretty sure that was a very heavy fish. Now I can see why people liken to appearance to Golden and then. So, you're gonna cook it for us? Really now? Haha, uh -huh. I see you're as curious about the taste as I am. Naturally, I have every intention of sharing the taste of this trumpet catch with, the, with all of you. As for how to bring up the finest flavor, river fish tend to be the best suited to grilling, so just wait a few minutes while I fire up the grill. 
Haha, <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to this now. And to think, we got some food from Watermore Mori Taz, too. Haha, <laughs> it feels like we've just been stuffing our faces today. And so it was that with forks held high, they all dug in and enjoyed the fruits of their labor. Well then, what do you guys think? Where do I even start? Well, the amount of fat was just perfect, sublime even. Agreed, I never would have imagined it would taste as exquisite. I'm glad to, s to see earlier expecting it was wholly unwarranted. It's hard to believe that this was just grilled. Yeah, I didn't even think that you could get fish this tasty. Uh huh, glad you all liked it. You're not surprised how delicious it was to just melt to your mouth. I feel like it's my duty to share it with the rest of the town now. Looks like I I'll have to put in another press with Tahoe. Hee hee, I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Yeah, once he hears about how good it is, he'll have to be crazy to turn down the opportunity. Uh huh, you said it. Honestly though, I want to thank you again for all your help. Unfortunately, all I can offer is stop from the store, but please take it. Fresh herb. We'll definitely take it. I wish you all the best with the rest of your field study. Thank you. Good day, then. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Go in. Should we bet the guild and start filing everything away? As you return to the guild to file your reports, the time of day will advance the evening and the main story will proceed. No, not stay outside. Oh my god. No. Go inside the guild. Thus the members group A brought their fruitful day to an end, and following the instructions Tavo left for them, they began the not quite as exciting process of filing the paperwork. Ah, peaceful day at the office. And she's knocked out on the couch. Oh, are you finished? Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. That little brat, she could at least try and help instead of lying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I doubt she's used to spending this long on such exciting tasks. Oh well, we're almost finished. Alright. Still, it really goes to show how top-rate Tal was. He feels a lot of press on his own. He still has time to handle all the day-to-day -day realities of running a guild branch. Indeed, it even, it's even more impressive when he considered that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a racer. The guild may have been forced out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even when we reached Barahad, he came to our aid. If you look at these records, it's clear that the people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's very true, but... Is something the matter? Nah, I'm just thinking. If bracers play an essential role to the people of other countries, are they not just as essential to Erebonians? Well, you may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. That idea of protect prioritizing the protection of civilians above all else is pretty noble. It's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's not a form of ability that's beginning to fall by the wayside with the pyramid's astral street. I'm not sure the issue is as black as as you, you have it. The guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism, and far too little on practicality. Donations and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's no stretch at all to say that with the empire as it is now, the guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once when we discussed this. Useless. Looks like his brother is weighing on his mind. I suppose that's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold and dismissive, but it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Al Alberia. Hmm. Emma, they're so bad. <laughs> what are you dreaming about? <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> Look at that, she doesn't even have to be awakened to be irritant. <laughs> anyway, my god. I shouldn't take too much longer to finish filling the rest of the reports. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Sounds good to me. Excuse me, is anyone here? Oh, you're the girl who looks at the Watu star, aren't you? 
Oh, Lady Laura, is Tabo here by any chance? I'm afraid Tabo's out of town on business at the moment. Something the matter? They, they haven't come home. Julie and Karen still haven't come home from the castle. What? Wait, you don't mean... Did those two go to Larson Castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without any supervision. I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure, that they took one of the boats without even asking. It's, it's evening now and they still haven't come back. This sounds like a serious problem. Yeah, and right when Todd was away from the guild too, we just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree, we can't just stand around and hope they'll come back. If we're to search the lake, we'll need a boat ourselves. I'll have Klaus prepare one for once at, at once. While you do that, I'll wake up Million and we'll have another look around the town and see if we can find them. Splitting up and searching the town does seem the best course of action. So thank you. Mr. Shore, we'll do all we can to find them. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. By the time the other residents became aware of what was happening, evening had given away to night. Uh-oh. Well, I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. Looks like they really did head out towards the castle on a boat. The lake's been calm and there's no sign of a boat on the water, so at least it's unlikely they capsized. <sighs> Guess that leaves the castle then, right? Lurigan Castle was once the stronghold of Ice and Ritter, and while the Archer family is still its stewards, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. Hope nothing terrible has happened to them. Their parents were really worried too. I've asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture to the castle and see what we can find. And we have to use that boat now, do we not? We do. A couple students from the Archer School are preparing an orbital boat for us as we speak. It does worry me that it started to grow misty again, though. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make, let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted out and we have everything we need just in case. Right, let's hurry. Alright, and it looks like we're going to, going to the castle. In the next video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, quite a bit has happened, especially that fishing mission. I think that fishing mission was probably harder than the boss battle I had to go through, because my fingers still hurt. God dang, I was, I was mashing that those buttons real hard. I was like, please, <laughs> because you had to like wait for it to like to appear for you to press the button. It was kind of like hurry up, but yeah, a lot is going on. Like lots of people are butting heads. Um, lot, right. yeah, you can tell that a lot, of sh a lot of shit is about to hit the fan once this trade conference, besides the fact that there's going to be an attack of trade conference, it seems like everyone is getting more and more tense, and it's just like a bomb waiting to blow, like, who knows what's about to go down once we get to the trade conference. Oh yeah, and speaking of, I did just a little bit of hmm. research, and um, Remember how I said in the last video how I thought we might be at least, you know, 60-70% into the game, story-wise? No, I'm wrong. We're not even halfway. Not even halfway, ladies and gentlemen. We got a long way to go still. A long journey ahead of us, and I'll be with you guys the entire way. But in the next video, we'll be going to the castle to find these missing children, and... Let's see what, we'll see what's going down next time. And if you guys like this video or this game and you want to see more, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button for more videos. Bye. Mm. See you later.